And if you wonder why my screen constantly pushes around when I start and stop recording, it's still because if I use my shortcuts, the whole thing breaks. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna use shortcuts. Let's bring home our troops. They bring a whole 30 gold. Is this army moving around and about? I'm not entirely sure what they are coming for. So he's taken more bits and pieces. I really need to take care of this. He's growing at an alarming rate. Understand these. Got a bit of gold. What? What? What is it? Oh, I don't want to demand a payment. That's what I'm doing. I'm not. Do I have a council position open again? Oh, man. Okay. You are no longer my ally, it seems. So what can we do with you? Conquer this whole thing if we had enough piety, which we do not. On subjugate already did that. I mean, I could call in all my allies as well. Invade kingdom. What does that do? You see, use all titles within the realm belong du jour to the target title and all occupied counties outside it. Well, that's costly. That brings a lot. Could press these claims. I mean, that would pretty much seal the deal. It's a good chunk out of him. But that also means all my allies have to join me. I don't think I have enough to deal with this. However, we have a lot of archers where he doesn't. Ugh, let's just try it. Let's let's invade the kingdom there. And declare the war. Are we still are we back down? No. Okay. So we will not there. No, no, not there. I want all my armies here. Uh, rally points? I want all here, yeah. So... Um... We're calling in all our allies, I think. He joins. He joins. He joins. And we'll just straight move in. Wait, what is this? What are all these? Oh, these are vassals. Why are these raised all over the place? Let's bring them in, hopefully unharmed.
And he is nowhere to be seen. Can we get more allies? Hold some of his troops out. Oh man. This constant deselecting of troops and whatnot, that's getting a bit on my nerves. There's 2000 coming, but there's 2500 coming. Maybe we still we will see our allies do battle onto his allies. He's certainly trying. Well, I'll join your war. First mine. So these are his troops anyway, that's good. Nope. More enemies approach from the north, so I think I should cut these off. don't think I would arrive there in time to help, so he might lose it. Looks fairly even. We have taken this now, so we go and meet the enemy. Already hitting this army there. Come on, move quicker. Oh, now. Enemy got away. Why do we have so many troops all of a sudden? I think it was victory. Okay, so we caught out a bit, which is good. <sighs> Not what I wanted to click. We go further here. I assume down there. But that doesn't look too great for us. If he turns around, we're kind of done for. But our allies are joining, so... Our champion was maimed, that's not ideal. Can do another steward perk. Get the trait Avaricious. Which does what exactly for us? Stewardship and holding taxes. That's fine, that's good. Right, let's get more holdings. I think we're already moving there, that's why it doesn't allow us to move. These are probably armies from two wars we're in. Have to see how this works out. Okay, they're coming here to resiege. This is good. So we can fight them as they have just disembarked. Very good. And they're also going to be split, probably. I think they're getting away. Shame. We have very, very slow movement. Very slow movement. My goodness. 
grandson of ours died. Suboptimal. And I want your grandsons to not die. Alright, I think we're finally getting a battle here, but our allies are probably not going to join us in time to turn this. But his ally is also running away, so we're catching him. Have another wounded champion. We're defeated in that other battle war that we joined. Let's get this guy to be our court physician then. Someone. Yeah, do whatever you need, but don't overdo it. I'm not sieging here. Why am I standing around there? Doesn't make sense. Let's go siege. Can't I tell my allies to do anything? Doesn't look like it. Fascinating to me how with new iterations of things that have already been, often developers manage to make them worse than they were before. Oh no, our troops are starving. What does that mean? How do I stop them from starving? Probably bring them home for a moment? I don't know. We'll try. Let's figure it out. Let's speed this up also a little bit because the movement is painfully slow. But I don't want my troops to starve to death. Get a big cattle herd. Ugh. Okay, so we're no longer starving, I think. What? Lost level of devotion. Because I do sinful acts of defending my son and stuff. Very sinful indeed. So to avoid starvation, I had to go back to my own lands. And we have lost another son. Giving us more stress, understandably so. Lucky our allies joined here, because that was not a, not a sure thing. Let's go here again, because that's where they are going, and we have died. Okay. Bamar Kaija, the first of Guinea, has crossed the door to the world of spirit at 65 years of age. He died of old age, a tormented man. He had long desired the sweet embrace of death. Had he? So, our grandson at the age of 15, Fama. Kaija the second will take over. Oh look, first years of rule. A council will do. So this is predicted for us to be a decisive loss. And we are a man now. We have become an intricate web weaver. Even if the highest aspects of the subject elude me, I'll live up to everyone's expectation and learn more than most. The friendship I shared with uh, and still have her by my side means a lot to me. So we're no longer charming. I am not sure why we lose that, but apparently we lose it.
So my troops are still starving, I suppose? How do we get rid of starvation? Really don't know. Can this go away, please? Thank you. That is not ideal. We're not doing good. But we're at least adding another siege thing here. That should help us a little bit with the war score. Also not find battle, I fear. Let's get our troops home for a moment. We have become the new culture head. Understandable, we are the biggest culture nerd out here. So what are we interested in? Barracks still, it's so... It seems. Oh, we have an interest for each of these, apparently. Don't we? Okay, I don't know what this means. Why is this highlighted? Current exposure. Oh, okay, we're exposed to this, so it'll it'll kind of happen on its own, apparently. And build the village center, shrine, prayer hold, training outpost. All right. Okay. Are we done with starvation now? Or how does that work? Each here because apparently we are not done with starvation. I don't understand this. We're above the supply limit. I understand that. So we should have to go somewhere where we reach supply limit. Okay, and this ends our first game of Crusader Kings 3. A huge amount of confusion. A mess. An absolute utter mess of information and icons and stuff. And apparently we also lose because despite having a whole bunch of other family members alive, there was no one eligible to inherit and we were immediately slaughtered. Despite being an intricate web weaver. Uh, so our dynasty has died out after 43 years. See, I don't even know if I was married. If, if I even had a chance to actually get an heir or anything. I don't know, because all these informations that I'm used to are hidden now. Ugh. Um, yeah, so far, I'm not, I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it. They have to put in a whole lot of more work in this. Um... This is not, this is not amazing. <laughs> and I don't say that because I lost. I say that because the, the lack of information that you get in a game that is crucially dependent on giving you information. Um, it's just a really weird choice. I don't know what they're going for and I don't know why they would do that. But uh, here we go, exiting to the menu. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, regardless and I hope to see you around on our next attempt in Crusader Kings 3. I'm going to upload this. I I don't I don't care. I'm I'm fine with showing the failures that we go through. And I'm sure we're going to do better. Uh, we will start on a completely random character again. So we'll see how we end up then. Uh, maybe we have a different uh, government type or a little bit of a different area. Maybe this is also very difficult to play at. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Um, see you around. Bye bye.